if you can, a few of you, by coming up, you're going to get one of these awesome little guys called Smushimal. Okay? The name is Smushy plus Animal, Smushimal. So come on up, you get one of these. So, um, the title of this quick, fun talk is called A Revolution in the Making. Um, so there's two pieces of that, okay? Uh, making and revolution, okay? And so we're going to talk about making first. Um, back to this little guy. Thank you for coming up. He's really adorable. Raise your hands if you want one. Kids? Yeah? Look how different all these little guys are. There you go. There you go. You're not a kid, but you got one. <laughs> help, help me with this. So kids, kids, way back there. Yeah, can you catch that? Okay. Boom. All right. Other kids? There you go. There you go. Want one? Oh, she, she oh. needs one over there. Hook her up. Who wants one? Okay. Other oh. kids. Kids are a priority. Are kids taken care of? Okay, one more back there. Uh, this the guy back. in the back. Oh. 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 All right. You got to toss up that little guy. Okay. Check these out. Now, if you look at the screen, imagine if you could make all right all these products from those little toys to chocolate bars, totally custom, to cases like Klaus's company. So uh, I'm going to get back to that. Klaus is going to do a little uh, bit of talking about his company. But first, we want to introduce ourselves by telling you our favorite personal making story. So my name is Klaus. I run Caseable. Um, we do mass custom laptop cases and iPad cases. Um, the entire background to me is sort of we, with my co-founder Marvin, um, we're in Colombia um, to actually sell anti-mosquito patches um, printed with the uh, Colombian military logo. The entire thing was we met, a, we met somebody who created those patches, but, no, but he had no idea how to market them. And we developed the technique to actually print on those patches so they were durable. Um, and you can use those patches and, and, and stay safe from mosquito for 36 hours. Um, Caseable, we came up with, because we wanted exactly for this project a custom laptop sleeve with that logo that we wanted to give out. Um, and there was really no company back then who produced that. Um, and that's really where we um, funded, founded the company here in Brooklyn um, and, and in Berlin, Germany. And we teamed up about a year and a half ago with Sazzle. And now through Sazzle, you can uh, purchase our products and customize it on the platform. That's awesome, Klaus. Super awesome. I love this story. You also did them for uh, Google as well. We did, yes. Right? Yes. So Google logo mosquito patches. You thought Google was a search engine, right? No. They're in the mosquito business. <laughs> All right. So my favorite maker story. This is actually not something I made myself, but my brother, who's probably the more mechanically inclined of us, um, uh, in school he built a Tesla coil. So if you look at this thing, it converts electricity to like really super powerful levels. And uh, so he just destroyed it. He won the science school, but then he brought it back home, didn't know what to do with it. He uh, decided to hook it up to my doorknob, to my bedroom. <laughs> so I came home one day, I touched the door. It wasn't quite as dramatic as this, but, you know, electrocuted me a little bit. And I was uh, shivering on the ground for a couple of minutes. Um, so that was probably the most impactful maker story I've ever had. Um, so the revolution part. Uh, I'll be really brief in this, but I love talking about it because it's really representative of where we've come uh, you know, over the last few hundred years in commerce. So I'll try not, not to make this boring. But this is what's fascinating, right? Hundreds of years ago, everything used to be handmade and tailored, right? And customers got exactly what they wanted. It was really cool. Stuff was made just for you, okay? Then the Industrial Revolution came around, right? And that was pretty cool in some levels because you could buy a car affordably. So mass production happened. And uh, that made a lot of products that would have been totally out of scope for most people uh, really affordable, which was kind of neat. But the, the, the problem with that was manufacturers started just making what they wanted. They stopped doing things for you. And um, traditional marketing was sort of invented in this paradigm to create a lot of demand for the same exact product. And consumers were told, hey, you have to buy this. You're incomplete without these new you know, pair of khaki jeans or whatever the product of that season was. 
So advertising's really been the advent of you know this model of mass production. And then this kind of got sad, right? This got out of control. And um, even to this day, almost 50% of everything that's made and put on retail shelves never sells. It's totally insane. So you find all this stuff in discount racks, in landfills, and not to mention that these mass production facilities, the labor conditions are really pretty bad. So this has got to end. Consumers have become savvy to this, right? To brands and manufacturers um, not necessarily being authentic anymore. Just making a ton of stuff overseas a year in advance and trying to sell you as much as they can of it. So consumers started becoming savvy. And so brands started creating these limited editions and collaborations to sort of become real again in the minds of consumers. And the coolest part of this story, for all the kids, relevant to your toys now, that this has evolved now into customization, where you, the user, the customer, can make your own products and co-create things with makers, like Caseable, or with a, a smushable toy. So what's really exciting now, just like anybody can create a blog and become a publisher and produce videos and become famous on YouTube, you can actually create your own products and your own brands using technologies like Zazzle and like Caseable, which is super exciting. And recent uh, polls have shown that about 92%, almost all of you, would probably prefer custom, right? If you, the clothes on your body fit just a little bit better, right? or if they were the exact color you wanted and the price is about the same, you'd probably prefer that if it was easy to do. So that's good news for businesses like ours. And uh, the end of this spiel is really as simply as, you know, consumers used to be force-fed what they're supposed to want, right? And this is transitioning to a model where you, the consumer, are active makers and you're publishers yourself. And this is what we're really passionate about at Zazzle. Um, and one of the reasons why we're so excited to work with companies like Caseable. So there's no better way to get a sense of that movement than here at Maker Fair, where you're seeing people make stuff all around you. Even the biggest companies in the world are attaching themselves to this trend, okay? It's not just smaller companies like ours, but even Google. So they've launched this Moto X phone, which is entirely made in the USA, and it's customizable with hundreds of different like little options, uh, which is pretty cool. And of course, my Zazzle plug here. So hand-picked, low price, huge selection. The normal stuff you used to hear about at big retailers has kind of flipped to unique and made to order. So enough about that history lesson. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring for the kids. But I um, want to tee up Caseable here. Um, basically, Zazzle is a platform that enables uh, brands and manufacturers like Caseable to put their products on, their, on our site, leverage our tools, so that users anywhere in the world can customize their products. Exactly. Um, so we teamed up with, with Sazzle because we wanted everybody to create their own products, right? We don't want anybody to, to we, want, we don't want stores to waste any products. We don't want um, people to, to, to buy, to go out and, and buy their products in stores because there are thousands and thousands of, of, of the same. We actually want you to create your own product. That's why we're here also with, with, with Sazzle. Um, what we also do, and that's something that involved from, from iPad cases, is, is the smartphone cases. And smartphone cases is also something that we enable people to put their own um, stuff on there, artists that can sell through our company, such as uh, uh, Sazzle as well does. Um, and, and in the end, it's really about low wastage recycled materials. All our products are, are from recycled materials. Um, and we basically have a return rate that, a return rate that is ba almost zero. So it's really non-waste recycled materials, um, and this is something where you know we make the stuff. Totally. Um, so there's more stuff here. You want to talk about? Oh yeah. Laptop sleeves. Um, the laptop sleeves was actually, as I, as I said, the, our our first product. Um, the laptop sleeves are entirely hand sewn here in Brooklyn. Um, really from 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 scratch. First of all, they're printed, then sewn. You can choose what kind of zipper you want. Um, what kind of zipper color you want, and even even the, all the way down to the thread. Every product is 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 made to order. Um, we don't produce anything for mass, so that's why you can't also find us at the Apple Store. Um, but um, but 
for us, it's very important also when we when we buy products such as thread, etc., that all the products are are made either from recycled PET bottles or um, recycled rubber. And this is where we where we um, came in and, and and produced those those laptop sleeves and and iPad cases and uh, and smartphone cases. Next. Yeah, I'll just put for you. Um, Everybody, of course, ha ha has heard of, of, of the Kindle. We produce um, Kindle cases as well. Um, that's also a product that evolved from, from, from the iPad case. Um, and it's, isn't it beautiful when you actually open um, your Kindle with actually a Kindle case that has photo of your family or, or actually you know, something, something that you created on as well? Um, so the, the best part for us is really when we people, I was actually in, in, in Thailand a couple of months ago and on the beach with somebody with with our product, and I walked up to him and said, "Isn't isn't this awesome that you have your, that you created your own product on, on on our site?" And he was super happy that you know it didn't buy something off of off Amazon that is you know sort of everybody has it. Um and uh, and and yeah, that's really where we you yeah know, came in. Yeah, it's so I think that's a really important point, right? Because you know, typically when you go to, you know, the normal Apple store, exactly. there's a really limited selection, right? There's only so much space on the wall. Um, with these guys, right, you can just make anything your own. And the price point is still... Very, you know, it's, it's, it's $69, which is almost the same as, as any case at the Apple store. The Apple store usually charges 59 to 79 for, for a laptop sleeve, and, and, and that's all made in, made, made in China, right, and in mass produce. And they don't even know if that actually sells. Whereas here, we made it to order whatever you want, and um, and we still charge the same. Awesome, it's awesome, and it's made in your local neighborhoods right here, right? So in it doesn't Brooklyn. have to travel on a huge freighter all the way around the world just to end up in a store, which is which is really important for the earth and uh, sort of you know doing the right thing by nature. So we got iPads. You want to talk about this collection? Um, we are approached by a lot of different uh, artists, and uh, what we do is a lot of artists can't afford going into China, um, buying basically the MOQs of, of thousands and thousands of the same piece because they have no idea if they sell. Um, and and the, the most important thing what we gave to them was they, we created a platform where they can upload all their, um, their, their designs and offer them to people and get, get back a certain amount. However, um, we didn't produce anything, even when we sell it through platforms um, like Sazzle or, or, or Amazon, um, we don't produce anything until it's actually ordered. Um, and that's the beauty also for, for designers like Bianca Green or, or Ali Gulick because they don't have to buy anything in advance and they have no idea if that sells. I mean, of course, they're, they're very renowned artists, um, but they don't know if, they, if it sells. So that's something where, where we came, came in and offered them that platform. And it's been very successful ever since. Awesome. So got a couple slides that's, here on your production. Yep, that's the that's the production um, here in Brooklyn. Everything is as I said handmade. Um, we came up with the entire production process ourselves. It was something we when we started Caseable, it was actually something that we had no idea how to produce laptop sleeves, right? I mean, it was something you know. Although I have sort of a background um, in textiles, my one of my, my father has um, one of the oldest um, hat companies in in all of Europe. It's about 200 years old almost. Um, and so I was basically, I grew up with textiles, and um, although I tried myself sewing laptop sleeves, it's not really something I can do. Um, but um, but it, we we eventually developed this process where we can really manufacture a lot of them. When we when you go to China, you probably have, um, as you said before, hundreds and hundreds of, of of workers that can probably produce thousands of laptop sleeves within a couple of hours. Whereas here, it's really every, every one is, is, is made from scratch. And, and developing that process was really a challenge, but it's really great to actually make those products and not be some sort of just, you know, a IT company without any, without any physical products. Um, can you go to the next one? And that's the, uh, the European operations um, that we just opened. And we were producing the, the, the doc doesn't seem to be too excited. But, um, <laughs> but what's actually inside is uh, very like, what we have here in Brooklyn, handmade products, local products, um, and uh, we're super excited for, for the holiday season as well. Looks like he kind of runs the show. He does. <laughs> he really does. Keeps every, everybody happy. So I um, want to talk a little bit about the future, right? Because there are some themes here that are really important that impact all of you, whether you think it or not. Um, like Klaus was just discussing, one of the best things about this maker movement, everything you're seeing at this fair, and about Caseful and Zazzle, 
again, is that these products aren't made until you say, hey, I want this case made in this exact way for me. And then they make it, which is really awesome because this stuff won't end up in a landfill. People are actually going to use it. Um, again, local production. So you're supporting you know, your communities with this type of commerce. And um, you know, again, there is less logistics, freight, and travel that these uh, products have to go around. Um, and that's better for the environment as well. Um, it basically, what we uh, what we created in, in, in Germany was also in, a, in, an, in an area where we had no um, we had a very high unemployment rate, which and it used to be one of the the, the centers of textile. I mean, as as, as I said before, my, my, my father's company, he um, he used to employ about 600 people just for hat man, you know hardware manufacturing. Um, whereas now he's down to about 100. Where he, since he moved all the jobs because people want you know cheaper products, mass-produced products out of uh, out of China. And 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 what Jeff said before, it's really going back to to local production, giving um, people a job locally, and 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 people also appreciate it to have local um, production and actually something hand-sewn that you can relate the product with. Yeah, yeah. If any of you have watched the news at all lately. Um, these are really important topical things right now, right? Domestic job creation, manufacturing here in the United States, but also locally anywhere proximal to the customer base, whether in Europe or in Asia or wherever. Um, a little side note, because I'm proud of this story. Uh, so I, I met with basically the head of information technology for the White House uh, a year or two ago, and um, I was telling him about Tazzle. He was interested to know what we were doing. and. Uh, and explain to him, because it didn't really occur to him that, hey, no, we're actually employing everybody here. Like, we're making everything right here in Silicon Valley, where we're based. Um, and we have several hundred employees, right, doing that. And he was just blown away that a tech company, right, was actually making stuff in our local community uh, and employing that many people. He actually said if he had known about that story two weeks before, he would have had Obama included in the State of the Union address, um, which I was really excited and sad about at the same time because that would have been really cool <laughs> and missed out on that opportunity. But that's how that's how awesome this is, right? Oh, we have five minutes. We're getting the flag. So, anyways, uh, think about that when you're when you're buying stuff from now on. Um, there's usually an option to get it made for you, and Zazzle uh, is increasing its product breadth, even all the way to these uh, smushable toys. Are those all gone now? Kids have run off with them? Yep. These little guys, can I borrow that for a second? Thank you. So, um, really exciting news. We haven't really talked to anybody about yet, but um, we've launched a tool so you can create this little guy on our website. It's currently private because we're testing it. It's a part of a new uh, kind of next generation design experience that we have enabled and Caseable will also be on, which is all based on direct manipulation. So basically, you'll see this little guy on the screen with like tags on it, if you guys have ever used like Facebook or anything like that. And you, all you have to do is touch the little tags on the portion of the product that you want to change. So if you want to change its face, like you see in the screen here, you click on the face, and all the different faces will fly up, and you just select them real time. It's pretty cool, right? You think you can do that? Yeah? All right. I'll send you a link later. Um, so very exciting stuff. and. Um, I guess on kind of a uh, sentimental note, I think the future is exciting because um, you know something as special as a as a toy or a stuffed animal for a kid should be as unique and different as every child, right? That's a world that I want to live in uh, instead of everybody just getting the same stuff. Can't really add anything to that. Most important for me is that. You got you don't buy the, the the Chinese stuff or you know the, the stuff the stuff um, I'm from China, but something really local and crafted um, either from Sazzle or from us. <laughs> All right, folks, we want to answer questions, but I love this uh, statement because uh, we really believe it as a company. The future, right, is what we all make. All of us together, we're all makers. So, thanks for joining. Thanks. Can we answer any questions? Questions. Ali, question? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, very exciting. So uh, the question is, well, hey, you say you can make anything. What about chocolate? Ali really likes chocolate. Uh, could you do it on our website? Well, soon enough, yeah. You could make something even as uh, you know, specific as a chocolate bar. You put any types of, in fact, I could go all the way back to the beginning and show you, any types of uh, flavors and ingredients in that chocolate bar. Wouldn't that be cool instead of a normal bar that you get at a store? I want to show this off because it really does look delicious. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. With different types of chocolates, right? Different chocolate. Smarties. I'll show you once we get there. Here we go. So yeah, in this experience, the first thing you do is select the type of bar. So white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and then up to five different uh, types of uh, things that you would add to that. So um, this one, I think, has uh, Oreos and some chocolates. But you can add uh, you know, anything from like jelly beans and sprinkles to coconut and nuts. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. And by the way, this maker, which I can't announce yet, also makes this stuff right here in New York. I think in Manhattan, actually. Yeah. And the great part is you can actually share it on, on Facebook as well, and uh, everybody sees you know what you like, and then you might, may have luck, and uh, and somebody buys it, you know, buys that type of chocolate for Christmas yeah. for you again on Sassel. Exactly. Question. The, okay, so if I understand the question, so the maker themselves is making the chocolate bar. You're saying their vendors that they're sourcing from? Right. I understand. It's a really good question. So the question's about sort of if anybody can go on and make this stuff on our site, then how do you differentiate? Uh, versus, you know, other designers. And, you know, I guess the question is going to come down to the details. You're going to have to pick the best combinations of stuff. Um, we also plan to have a lot of different types of makers of chocolates. So I think there's going to be a huge potential for variety uh, with a lot of different makers, a lot of different types of ingredients amongst all of them. You can create something pretty unique. Uh, as an example, just this Mushmul toy, I think you can customize like eight different aspects of that from even the stripes on his back, the colors, the face, the, um, uh, the hands and uh, legs and fins. Uh, there's actually probably millions of unique combinations. So it's very unlikely that anybody will ever buy the same Smushmul toy. What you guys have are all unique limited edition toys. You'll never see that amongst your friends. It's cool, right? Yeah? They agree. Any other questions? No? I think it's time to wrap up. Thank you guys cool. so much. Thank you. This was fun.